Hello friends and welcome to the November unboxing for our Grace Dream Closet subscription powered by Virtual Doll Convention. It's Rachel, of course, and I am here. I am your doll bestie and your subscription box bestie. Christopher, your fashion bestie, is behind the camera. And we are so excited to launch our subscription outfit of the month with the fabulous shoes and all the fabulous fun. So get in here because we are going to have so much fun. Now, speaking of fun, Think back to the 1970s. Do it, did a lot of us have fun in the 1970s? I wasn't quite born yet, but I've seen a lot of movies. I love the fashion, and we are doing a deep dive 70s rewind for Club Grace for November. I have to say, this jacket is pretty nuts, and I have this jacket with my vintage Levi's. Did you know that Levi's made floral clothing? Uh, outfit because I'm vibing. I'm getting into the vibe. So before I say anything more, let's talk about our outfit of the month. We're going to put some pictures on the screen that we took that our wonderful D edited and let's read all about it. It is <clears throat> introducing the 70s swirl sensation, a sartorial nod to the groovy 1970s, ready to enchant the modern doll wardrobe. This delightful dress is a canvas of retro charm splashed with a bouquet of whimsical florals against a classic black fabric. This enchanting empire waist cinches softly, giving way to a full skirt that cascades into lively ruffled tears, perfect for a boogie or a leisurely promenade through memory lane. Each ruffle catches the light and shadows, creating a dynamic display reminiscent of the era's iconic fashion. Now, I have my notes here, but I want you to come in a little bit because we're going to talk I'm going to talk about the shoes now and these shoes, you guys, are some of the coolest shoes that we have ever done for Club Grace. We have the little miniaturized versions right here, but we're going to put some pictures on the screen of the produced shoes and the original shoes that the shoes are made after. And here's a little description. So elevating this look into new heights are the iconic escargot wonder wedges. These are no ordinary shoes. They are a nod to the imaginative Bonnie Smith design wedges of the 1970s, renowned for their signature swirl in the heel that is whimsically resembles a snail. These wedges pair perfectly with the dress, their deep leather and bold twirl design adding a dash of avant-garde elegance to the outfit. Together, the 70s swirl sensation dress and the escargot wonder wedges craft an ensemble that is not just a fashion statement, but a celebration of an era that redefines style. It is not just a look. It is a journey back in time when fashion was fearless and every step was a statement. 70s swirl sensation is not dressed just a dress. It's an invitation to revel in the past with the panache of the present. Don't you just love it? We have been asked for years now, and I say years because we have been at this for years. We are in season three of Club Grace. In fact, we just submitted all our designs for season four yesterday, and it is iconic. But we have been asked many times to do a 1970s nod, and here it is. This, this dress and the shoes, they're, it's, it's wonderful. There are so many surprises happening with this month's box, including jewelry, including a bonus dress that you were going to receive in your box. But let's talk about this. So we're going to get into this a little bit more with Christopher. He is going to talk about the styling and the fabric. But when Ruby Red Galleria, who manufactured this gorgeous dress, sent this to me, I was incredibly pleased. The ruffle is just wonderful. This is very, this is just so 70s and so wonderful wonderful. And if I may say, I'm going to say it before Christopher says it, it's very 70s Barbie. This is fun. But my favorite part really are the Wonder Wedges. Bonnie Smith designed all kinds of 70s platform 
wedges. Now, when you look at 70s shoes, they are some of my absolute favorite part of 1970s fashion. It is the platform shoes, the disco shoes, the, the, the boots with the super high platforms. I mean, that is really what I think of first when I think of the 1970s. When I submitted these escargot wedges to Ruby Red Galleria to manufacture, I fully thought that they were going to say no. And I, I've said this a lot because I keep thinking, oh, they're not gonna do those. And they did these. They made a special mold. These are hand-painted twirls on the inside. Uh, leather, they're lined on the inside. They're just absolutely iconic. I have never seen a shoe like this produced for one of a fashion doll. In fact, these have never been produced for a fashion doll. They are replicas of an iconic 70s shoe. I found a pair of these shoes actually on first dibs and I think they were over a thousand dollars and they are absolutely, they're absolutely amazing. Every single one of your boxes is going to receive a shoe. You are going to get a surprise color, either the black or the dark green. They both coordinate perfectly with your dress of the month. And then we also have the shoes in a red and a white if you would like to buy an additional color as add-ons. And we also have the dress in a pink and a blue as add-ons too. So if you want some variations, they're available now in the Grace Boutique. So that is your outfit of the month. Your box is crazy, crazy wonderful and we're gonna get into it. It is full of surprises, it is full of fun. Let me grab it and then we're gonna, we're gonna get into it. All right, let's get into this month's box. So if you are a subscriber for the Club Grace subscription, one of the best parts is seeing that wonderful pink box on your doorstep, knowing it is jam-packed with all kinds of incredible fun. So I am going to grab our box. Uh, first thing, one of the things that I love about the box is look at the girl in the center. It is our wonderful Grace, and she is looking groovy, illustrated by Diana Vining. So this is great. So we've had these boxes for a couple of months. We have now released all three of these dresses, including this month. So she is taking center stage. It is the perfect box for her. So when you receive your box, you are going to receive your cover letter. I've been doing these beautiful cover letters, which I think are really great. You can read this, but it, it introduces our outfit of the month and it gives you some other ideas for having fun with your dolls and imaginative play, such as disco fever, uh, flower power, a road trip adventure, vinyl record shop, boho chic picnic, all kinds of fun. We like to give you ideas to play because we want you to play. That's the whole point of our box and our dream subscriptions, all of our subscriptions, is to get you to play and to have a lot of fun. So we have perfectly coordinated tissue paper. And inside your box, we're just gonna start kind of at the top and we're gonna work our way down so you can see all of the fun. Now, Curly Whirly is your snack of the month along with some Jelly Bellies. So Curly Whirly Bars, they're actually a British snack, but they came out in 1970 and they were very popular. I had to include them because I think they're just kind of hysterical. They're supposed to look like kind of like curly little worms and they're actually very good. It's a caramel dipped in milk chocolate and they were very good. And of course, Jelly Bellies took the world by storm in the 1970s and they came out and I believe I, I took notes in 1976 is when Jelly Bellies came out. So there's a sample of Jelly Bellies. So you're getting two iconic 1970s snacks in your box. All right, the first thing, gotta love it. Take me back to the 70s. We've got our Grace paper doll designed by Diana Vining. It is wonderful as always. It includes all kinds of iconic 70s things such as, well, troll dolls didn't come out in the 70s, but they were very, very popular in the 70s. We've got a lava lamp. We have a tie-dye shirt. We have our dress. This is so fun. There's some peace sign glasses if you want to cut those out and put those on Grace. Super, super fun. I love it. Good job, Diana Vining. Now, you might be wondering why the set looks like Hopefully it looks like an attic to you because in the story, Grace goes and visits her aunt and she helps her kind of clean and organize the attic, which is something that we should be doing here actually at the doll shop. And she finds an iconic dress and pair of shoes inside the attic 
and her aunt lets her keep them. Let's read a little bit of the story. It says, hi, so groovy to see you. My aunt called me the other day and asked if I could come help her do some cleaning in the attic. Apparently she's so inspired by my adventures that she's decided to go out and travel the world. I was happy to oblige because if you know my aunt, she, she, you know she's already had many adventures of her own. I was going through some of her boxes of old clothes in her attic and I found the most beautiful floral dress from the 1970s. It was done in all warm colors with a wonderful cantaloupe colored ruffle along the bottom. It was just lovely with a hint of prairie charm to it. Instinctively, I held it up to myself wondering if it would fit. As I stood there, my gaze landed on a box tucked in the corner of my aunt's attic. My eyes widened and I exclaimed, Bonnie Smith Vintage Wonder Wedges? My heart fluttered with excitement. These are like totally legendary. A smile bloomed on my aunt's face and she says, oh, I remember that dress. I made it myself and I wore it to Woodstock along with those fabulous wedges. I'm pretty sure I was the best purse dressed person there. She put her hand on her cheek and chuckled. Oh, I can just picture myself twirling around in that outfit in my living room, surrounded by the warmth of the harvest gold carpeting and the brown wood paneled walls decorated with my macrame art. I could tell it was such a happy time in her life and I was honored when she gave me her special dress and iconic shoes. I promised her I would take good care of this special outfit and make my own brand new happy memories with it. And that's where you come in. Let's see what magic we can make with this gorgeous 1970s ensemble. So what do you say? Are you in? Far out. Let's go. XOXO Grace. So before we get more into the box, that's the story. Grace goes and visits her aunt. She's looking around in the attic, which this happens, you look around in the attic and you find wonderful things from decades past and it brings back wonderful memories and her aunt gives her the dress and the iconic shoes and then Grace goes off into the world to make her new memories. I love this. Diana Vining, it was all her idea, she wrote it. Such a good job. So we're gonna get back into the rest of the box but take a little, take a little gander. We're gonna get into this a little bit more fully with Christopher because he's really gonna show us what he did and, and his inspiration behind putting this film set together. But doesn't this look like we are standing, we are transported into an attic? And what I love about it is that these are items from our attic so the dust is real. <laughs> Everything is a, a wonderful item from the past. So it looks very, very real because it is. And I think that this is a, a, it's such a respectful and lovely nod to what we are trying to do, which is bring back the, the vintage and the wonderful charm of the 1970s without making it like a Halloween costume. I didn't want it to come in with disco balls and peace signs and make it like a joke. This, this, is, this is real. The fashion was awesome. That It was a great time for a lot of people and to, to bring it back and to have such a such a respectful nod to the 1970s and to show it like this I think it's so inventive so I am really proud of our team and I think it's a lot of fun so let's get back into more of the treasures that are coming in your box this month we really went crazy with this month's box and I am just loving every second of it we took everything a step further with the packaging and basically everything and it, it is awesome so you're going to get little little trinkets such as we have a love bracelet it is just a, a sweet little charm bracelet that says love on it because because we are all about loving and, and, and good vibes over here at Virtual Doll Convention. Now, this is fun. This is your Grace's Groovy Scene Setters. So I'm just going to put it down so you can see it. Uh, Diana Vining came up with this. So we have a record player, a macrame owl, uh, a lava lamp, these 1970s platform shoes. I mean, look, look at this. This is so ridiculous. But there were actually shoes in the 1970s that were that tall of a platform. But get out your colored pencils and fill this in. So you're going to have a lot of fun with that. We have a Saturday Night Fever record and Grace's 1970s hits. So these are fun printables to get you in the mood, to get you vibing, and to really bring the outfit and the whole experience together. So when I talked about the packaging, 
Right here when you receive your shoes, it is stapled to a beautiful card that we put together. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but you're gonna see some information and some history on 1970s shoes and Bonnie Smith and what she did for her designs. So I'm really proud of that. Again, going the extra mile. When you open up your dress, we also have your dress. It is a big flat dress and we're gonna talk about the importance of ironing it to get these beautiful ruffles, but you're gonna get some more information right Right here so you're going to unfold it but it actually it travels very well it's not even wrinkled the fabric on this dress is wonderful so that is your dress that you're going to open up now we have just have some fun things inside the box it's been a while since we've done socks so we have some flower power socks they are great um, fun for every day so as soon as you get your box put on your socks to get yourself in the mood and then pull out your Rubik's cube these were very popular in the 1970s. They still make them. And I love that this is a miniature one, a little bit too big for Grace, but it's still miniature. You could pose her with it and it works. So you can play with this and have fun with that. Rubik's cubes were very popular in the 70s. We have a keychain. Again, the keychain looks a little muted, but all you have to do is pull off the plastic on the front and it shows our grace in her dress and it says, take me back to the 70s. Super fun, I love the background on that. Pull off the plastic and you'll see it. I'm gonna show you this in a second, but before I do that, I wanna show you the sprinkle, which is just absolutely silly and wonderful fun. So we've got all kinds of hearts, uh, not hearts, flowers, big ones, little big sprinkle. So you can probably come up with all kinds of little crafts. Gosh, you could even make little necklaces out of that. So that is a lot of fun. Now, here is how we're really bringing your, your box home. This is the first time we have ever done this. You are receiving, this is so crazy, but our factory <laughs> made these and I flip-flopped on it because I'm like can we do this this box is just going to be so over the top um, they're getting so much stuff in it but you deserve it our subscribers all of our wonderful customers all of the people that watch our videos you deserve it and so we are giving you a second dress that's right we're giving you a second dress in the box and it is going to come to you in a surprise color we have them styled down here so you can see but it says right here and we're going to show you some pictures of your bonus dress and it says unleash the spirit of the 70s with our latest dream closet subscription box where we're thrilled to introduce the groovy multi maxi as a special bonus gift to you this versatile maxi dress, a tribute to the era of liberation and bold fashion statements, is the star of the show and perfect for mixing and matching. In the 1970s, maxi dresses were all the rage, adorned, adored for their flowing fabrics and the freedom of expression they provided. They were the go-to attire for disco nights and sunny garden parties alike, embodying the decade's carefree and adventurous ethos. So it goes on to talk about uh, in, on this card the wonderful ways that you can style it and the, and the fun things, but that's right. You are receiving the dress of the month made by Ruby Red Galleria, the escargot wonder wedges by Ruby Red Galleria, the multi maxi made by the VDC factory, and <laughs> this is so silly, but I had to include it. You're receiving a peace sign necklace just to just to just to get you get you in the vibe if you want to uh, make it make it real fun and real 1970s-esque so every single box is also receiving this fun necklace which you can style and use in a bunch of different ways so that is fun it is over I think it, I, I did the math and it was 93 or $95 just ju in, in your value just in the clothing of the month it's over $100, including the necklace, and you get your box for $80. That doesn't include all the extra fun stuff that comes with it. Now, speaking of all the fun stuff that comes with it, one of the highlights of the Grace Dream Closet subscription is the digital subscription, which comes to everybody who's on the digital subscription and all of our box members. And it is our sewing pattern of the month made by our wonderful Tamara Casey of Designs by Jude. And she came up with an incredible pattern this month. It is actually Christopher's favorite pattern that she has ever done, our wonderful Tamara Casey. And she, let's see, I wrote it down. Oh yeah, it's called 
Good Vibrations. When did the Good Vibrations song come out? Was that in the 70s? We're gonna have to Google that. We're gonna have to Google that. But Tamara Casey is here in studio with her Good Vibrations pattern, and she is gonna tell us all about it. Come on in, Tamara. Claude Grace, welcome back. The Fitzpatrick girls and I have been working hard to bring you that 1970s vibe. In naming the pattern, I did a little research on where the word vibe actually comes from. Although the origin of the word vibe can't specifically be pinned down, it was made extremely popular in 1966 with the Beach Boys hit, Good Vibrations. The term Good Vibrations was used increasingly in the late 1960s and 70s with some of our favorite iconic family TV shows like The Partridge Family and The Brady Bunch. The November Good Vibes pattern includes a really groovy pair of bell-bottom pants with patch pockets, a crop-length top with billowy sleeves and bow at the front, as well as a very cool baker's hat and a fringe vest. I hope the sewing pattern this month helps you reflect on some of those great memories of the past and gives you the opportunity to create your own good vibrations. I can't wait to see what you make. Thank you so much, Tamara Casey of Designs by Jude. She made an incredible pattern for us with her good vibrations. I just love the time and effort and energy she puts into this. She always goes above and beyond and her YouTube channel has Almost, I have to check, it was right at about 10,000. Hopefully it's over 10,000. And if it's not, let get, let's get her there. 10,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. It is wonderful. She teaches you all kinds of things. So Tamara Casey of Designs by Jude. Also check Tamara's website. She has amazing patterns, thousands of them. And then she also has accessories, shoes, uh, all kinds of sewing notions, all kinds of things to buy. And she's always running some kind of special. So she's definitely one to follow in this industry. We appreciate you so very much, Tamara Casey of Designs by Jude. Also our next video, so we have something fun for you too. If you're crafty and you don't have a ton of experience and you wanna do something, this is for you. Our friends, Anna and Corey at the Kit and Cat Doll Shop made a tutorial for us which is coming up next on our channel. These wonderful floppy hats and a purse and these super cute belts. Now this belt is, you can take it and put it on the hat or you can actually wear it on the dress. And in her tutorial, she gives you a free pattern to cut out and make these perfect floppy hats, the slouchy purse, and the little belts, which can be used as headbands, they can be used as um, belts on the hat, it is just great. So thank you so much, uh, Carol, um, Corey and Anna of the Kitten Cat Doll Shop. You guys slayed, you did such a good job. They have a YouTube channel too, and then they have a website where they have all kinds of wonderful things that are fourth, one third and one fourth scale for dolls. They make awesome accessories. So if you're looking for a glass of champagne, you want some beer, they just came out with that. Just fun stuff. So definitely check out their website. We have links in our video for everything. And then the next video up is going to be the tutorial for that where you can do that. This is easy. When, when I say it is, I really mean it. It's a bunch of hand sewing. You can, the, the pattern is super simple. You trace it out, find your fabric, trace it out and do it. So if, if, you're, if you're looking for a project and you're wondering, Ugh, where do I start? This is a good place to start. It is, when I say it's doable, it's doable. Same with all of our patterns and everything. We want to empower you with the right um, skills and and help to be able to figure it out. And our wonderful Tamara Casey and Anna, they are happy to help you if you have any questions. So thank you so much, both of you, for making this really fun. So now we're gonna bring in Christopher and we're gonna talk about our set and our styling and just talk about the clothes and get into the little fashion side of it and have some fun. So let's bring him in, Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Hello. Uh, did you have fun building this film set? I always do. Um, every time, uh, it's true, I have fun every time. Um, this was <laughs> this was particularly interesting because we were thinking about like what it, what is this experience of unboxing. Um, the initial idea was maybe we lean into like '70s vibes and like something sort of psychedelic, and it wasn't quite gelling. Um, and then in reading the story again, I was like, oh my god, she goes to the attic and like 
we have such a perfect place to stage an attic and, and the perfect inventory and whatever. So um, I was able to rummage around in things that we had in storage to find old forgotten items that would be fabulous to have in an old forgotten attic, um, complete with the dust on them. So yes. <laughs> Um, that was very fun, and um, I was able to create sort of a, a flea market of sorts in um, in putting it all together. It was it's been you know very very fun per usual. So let's go on a little bit of an attic tour. Um, we have a bunch of uh, really fabulous pieces that I, I was so excited to sort of unearth, um, both in various storage places and in our attic uh, above our own shop. Um, and what I wanted was for this to feel very much like something that might be in a family home. Um, not necessarily the doll shop attic, of course it is, but um, something that feels like it's got personal memories from a childhood or, or the passing of a loved one. Um, something that feels very earnest and very heartfelt. So um, hoping that this doesn't translate <laughs> as just a flea market. Um, this was a lot of fun to just like sort of artfully pile things together. Um, and um, I hope that it, it translates as a, you know, a treasure trove of things that maybe yesteryear had uh, left for you to unearth again. So my own grandparents' home actually had an attic full of vintage 60s Barbie dolls that I never got the uh, the pleasure to, uh, to go discover myself. But I like to think that if I walked in there and there was a number one gay Parisian just in the attic that I probably would have just croaked over, just like there, right, right in the floor. Um, and, um, how, you know, how could you not have a, an attic without Barbie in it? There's always some, there's Raggedy Ann's and, and teddy bears, but like the, the magic of finding a number one in the attic, you know, if it's been a couple years since you've checked out your own, maybe this is a sign, maybe you're overdue to go investigate your, uh, old, old forgotten belongings. Christopher, this is so fun. I loved your attic tour. Thank you for all of the care and love that you put into our wonderful film sets. Thanks. So let's talk about the fashion. Yes, please. So this is, um, we've sort of showed this a little bit already, but just to really get into the, um, the movability of this, the skirt on the dress is remarkable. Um, it's got a zipper in the back and lining on the inside. It's really, really soft and very nicely done. Another hit from Ruby Red Galleria. Um, I took the time to press all of the ruffles for the, uh, the trim of the skirt here, which is a little bit of a labor of love, and I hope that does not deter you from trying to do this yourself, because the difference is night and day. Um, I know I'm a little bit of a broken record when it comes to pressing and steaming your clothes, um, but I stand by this. I think it makes such a difference. You guys are getting something shipped in, in paper, in plastic, in packaging through the mail. It's hot, it's cold, it, it shifts when it gets to you. Um, and sort of opening it up and letting it hang on a doll and get comfortable um, is is pretty in and of itself, but if you can do that after it's already pressed, it just looks like she's already, you know, existed in it for 20 years, and that's sort of what we're trying to get the feeling of, right? Really let it sort of hang off the dress, um, hang off of the doll. It's a very movable, flowy, gorgeous fabric. Um, again, sort of like a polyester satin. Um, just very silky and pretty, and the floral print is gorgeous. Um, there's a slight variation between this floral print and the two others we're going to show you, but the um, the gist is pretty much the same. And um, if you can take 10 minutes to press out all the nooks and crannies, then please, please do it. It's such a tremendous difference. Um, I love the floral combination um, and the color scheme of like a deep, deep navy and sort of a... Um, um, emerald leaf in the uh, foliage there. Uh, cantaloupe is such a perfect way to describe this color. It's just gorgeous. Um, and I'm a very big fan of orange right now, so this is one of my favorite color combinations. Yeah, I'm trying to look close because I think I said earlier that this was a black background, but it it's navy. It is navy, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's it's a, a really nice versatile right. color scheme. Yes, and the shoes are dark green and black, but they go beautifully because the yeah. undertones of the navy, it almost looks like it is black, and they go really well. So yeah. we well, wanted to give you some dark shoes. And we've got all of the bonus dresses, too. Um, so if you wanted to wear statement white, statement black, staple colors with um, more of a, you know, there are so many dresses that you could wear these with, but especially these bonus maxi dresses, there's some really neutral colors in there that throwing black or white into is a no-brainer. Um, my favorite is probably the sort of strawberry salmon color. It is beautiful. Um, I love how you can really see the um, 
the way that the dress takes shape in something like a, a chair like this, it's got a lot of volume, a lot of dimension, and so much um, silky movability. It's just a very, very pretty dress. Um, this is a great color scheme to wear with the, uh, again, the green shoes or the red ones. Um, they're, they're both beautiful. Um, I don't know if I can pick a favorite. I really, I do like the green a lot, um, but it's, it's gorgeous, really. Um, I, I just love the way that the colors interact with each other, and um, they're really easy to cinch with a belt or cinch with jewelry. Um, these huge floppy hat patterns uh, and the purses are such a perfect, perfect garnish for this outfit. If you're looking for a timely and fashionable accessory, I think it's a worthwhile endeavor to embark on uh, trying to make those yourself because they're so beautiful. They are perfect. And here's the, we just used one of our belts that we have put out in the past. We have some more of these. We'll, we'll get those listed in the boutique, but I think it does, a little belt does help. Yeah, it, I think it does too. And if you're wearing the black shoes, having another sort of focal point to ground those with, um, we've got so many, I mean, like we've got the, uh, the inner cinch belts as well. Those black leather belts, yeah. um, are a fantastic thing to throw in. We still have some of those, um, Obviously, any jewelry you want to. I think the most obvious one for me is the um, what are the natural charms? Is that yeah, what that's the called? The natural charms necklace. That those, one I love. Yeah, those are in the Elowen boutique. Well, lucky for you, uh, I suppose they fit both dolls. Yes. Um, I love that the uh, the colors. You can wear the colors uh, that are in that necklace with almost any of these dresses. Those accent beads have a really great sort of um, uh, mix and match quality, and the feather in there obviously is like so seventies. Um, the maxi dresses are great because you can wear them uh, up on the shoulder or just slouching off, or you can have the entire garment under the armpit so that it sits sort of um, just on the bust. And I think they're. They're really beautiful. Um, they're stretchy, they're easy to put on. Again, I would recommend pressing these just a little bit because it always makes a difference. Um, but um, they're, they're so easy, they're so pretty, and if you want something that's flowy and free-spirited and very um, true to form for the you know spirit of the 70s, I think um, a very simple maxi dress is a great way to go. And they are going to receive a mystery color of the maxi dresses, but we do have the pistachio available oh, to purchase. It's my favorite one, you guys. I, I think we don't really have anything quite in that color, and it is just, it's dreamy to me. It's such a beautiful, soft, pillow green um, and I think on a grace with green eyes a grace with sort of watermelon um, lips or paint or whatever that you can sort of uh, contrast with is just duh, gorgeous and of course these maxis fit Elowen yes so uh, did we try the dress of the month on Elowen it's not about Elowen this month <laughs> <laughs> but um, we might as well try it because we do have the bonus it's a dresses. worthwhile shot all right we, um, need, we do need to try it i would imagine it's probably not super well fitted only because the bust right. on grace is designed to be sort of like soft and relaxed on a larger bust than vanilla ones it might be a little bit baggy in the shoulder i don't know we'll find out well, yeah, um, we're gonna we'll find get out. back to you updates to come <laughs> um but i i think the colors on this are so phenomenal yeah. and um I think I think the dress as it comes is gorgeous, but please, you guys, please press them. Yeah. Uh, Doll's Part has a fantastic mini iron. They've actually got multiple miniature irons um, and ironing boards. And if you don't have, as a doll collector, if you don't already have a tiny iron and a tiny ironing board, um, you're late. Go get one Go because get one. they make such a difference. So um, it goes on, Elowen. Uh, here's your update. It, it technically sort of fits, but I would not describe this as um, especially well-fitting. Um, but it's a very soft, silky fabric. This, this uh, floral print is not super prone to wrinkling, which is nice. But I want to show you, like, fresh out of the package, it's worth showing, you know, a little a little pressing goes a long way. Yes. Um, all of the ruffle here is is perfectly fine as it is, but it's a little bit, um, you know, a little bit wrinkly. Um, give it a little iron when you get home and you'll see it makes a world of difference. So, a little side-by-side -side comparison. Um, just to show you the difference that pressing it will, will make. Um, if you have a steamer, that also works great. Um, give it a shot, but it's I think it's a, a worthwhile endeavor. So, <laughs> thank you for joining me in my attic today, because um, we are in, in my attic. Uh, this was very fun to put together, um, and I was really excited at the idea of playing with the era of the 70s, because um, I, I was not uh, a part of that era, but my mom was born in 1970, and hearing um, 
her recollections of it is is fascinating to me and like one of my favorite things is going through old photos of her from her childhood with like her holly hobby and strawberry shortcake dolls that she loved um she she was a big big uh little house on the prairie fan right so all of that sort of culture um is fun to indulge in and i like i remember my grandparents wood panels walls and like orange floral print carpet and um i always had a real fondness for for their home and so trying to recreate something that felt sincere and earnest and nostalgic with what we had here and and what i might find in a trunk in their attic you know in their own home was really exciting um and um i i am just glad that this box comes with jelly beans uh jelly belly jelly beans are the superior jelly bean and i won't hear anything else about it they're perfect and um I uh, am just glad that I can partake in the festivity of the box through candy um, that just so happens to be like I think some of the best candy in the whole world. <laughs> it's so good. Um, All the different flavors in one oh, mouthful. Oh my god, I want a whole, I want every flavor at once. <laughs> I want like popcorn and licorice and cinnamon all at one time. Mm. And then their Halloween flavors, remember they came out with earthworms? Mm, and dirt. Dirt. Mm -hmm. I remember the, um, <laughs> the, when the Harry Potter movies came out in theaters, they had Harry Potter themed jelly bellies. They were like, you know, frog poop and whatever. It was terrible. Um, but, um, these are great. I'm sure these sound terrible on camera. I won't do this much longer, <laughs> but I'm having fun. Um, Welcome to my attic. Thank you for joining us for some 70s nostalgia, something that's reminiscent of a bygone era, um, something that's feminine and flouncy and gorgeous. And um, I'm just, I'm, I very much enjoyed playing with the, um, the joy of this box. What a blast. Thank you so much for everything to all of our subscribers, all of the wonderful people that are watching. I know a lot of you watching, watch for just to be a part of it. And that's what we really want. Whether you're a subscriber or not, being a part of our world and enjoying the world of dolls and fashion and creativity and unleashing your imagination and letting yourself play is the whole reason why we're here. And the, one of the wonderful reasons to be a doll collector is to just get into it and have fun. So feel free to join us. There are free downloads in the Grace. Uh, boutique where you can download and be a part of the fun all for free and so we really appreciate you being here and being a part of things thank you diana vining for all of your creativity and putting this box together and all of your wonderful art uh, d who did our editing of the photos christopher who took the photos and set up our set paul who's diligently working back there to get all of our packages done and we're going to be shipping them this week uh, to tamra casey for your amazing pattern of good vibrations it is iconic. It is so good, girlfriend. Thank you so much. Thank you to Ruby Red Galleria, who made these clothes in the VDC factory, who made our bonus dress. I feel like I'm going crazy, but you know what? This is such a massive um, collaboration, and uh, that's what I am all about, is collaboration, and when we can bring all of these talented people together, including myself, who put this together and thought about it, you know, it was scary for me to launch a doll subscription because I wasn't, I knew it was a great idea, but I wasn't sure it was going to work. But it's working. It's working because we're working together and I am just so grateful. So, so grateful to you. So thank you for being a part of everything and we hope you enjoy all of the 1970s Rewind this month. And we are so excited to see you next month for our big holiday celebration. Can you believe it? We are heading into December. So as you enjoy the rest of November, feel the good vibrations and have a really good time with our Club Grace Dream Closet subscription box of the month. It's coming at you. We're going to start shipping them right now and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.